Hi, YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here today. I hope you enjoy your weekend, or you are enjoying your weekend. Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2022. On one of the volcanic islands of Italy, near the city of Lapari, there was a magnitude 4.6 earthquake at 8.12 a.m. Uh, they've been really devastated lately with heavy rains and landslides and things like that. Over here, up towards the main part of Italy, let's see, um, there was a landslide that caused the death of um, 11 people, men, women, children, and babies. Let's see if I can find it, because I did mark it out. Mm, I don't see it. This page I have translated. After bad weather that hit the Tyrrhenian coast of Sicily on the evening of Saturday, 3rd December, an earthquake recorded on Sunday, December 4th. The strongest shock was felt at 8.12 a.m. with a magnitude 4.6 with a depth of 3 kilometers. The second shock earthquake came shortly after at 8.18 with a magnitude 2.0. Shock felt up to Palermo. Lots of messages on social media from people who said they felt the shock, not only in the Messina area, but also in the Reggio Calabrina and even in um, Palmero. Uh, there has been no request for intervention for damage to homes, nor for people to be rescued. However, after the bad weather of the past few hours, another moment of fear has arrived for the inhabitants of the area, with the two tremors, especially the first, recorded in the Messenia area. In recent days, seismic swarm have been recorded uh, in the southern Tyrrhenian Sea. The most powerful shock has been a magnitude 3.5. They have a map down here, too. On Science Daily, they have an article about r landslide risks remain years after even a weak earthquake and it goes into about um, satellite observations and ground shaking yeah these areas these islands volcanic, volcanic islands sorry i'm getting tongue-tied here have some real steep uh, cliffs and lands that people have built um, sometimes even uh, built illegally that was allowed Here's another um, article about the volcanic islands out there. And I don't know if you can see, but the path of uh, landslides that have occurred. They are also reporting that there was uh, three other earthquakes, a magnitude 2.0, a 1.7, and a magnitude 1.8. Uh, this has all been translated. Now, USGS gave it an intensity level of 8. And some of the reports on EMSC says here, uh, from Lapari, scary experience. My house on Lapari Island shaked, but there is no sign of damage. Another one says, I'm from Lapari. Um, I felt the earthquake strong enough as everything was moving. Another one said they were sleeping, just stopped dreaming and woke up. One minute after, I was thinking about what I dreamt. It started shaking, and the wardrobe made a sound like wood when it shakes a little. I was not sure if I was dreaming, um, or if it was hallucinating, or if it was real. Let's see. Everything was shaking. Chandelier, windows, and glass. Um, doors were knocking. The bed was shaking for two to three seconds. Um, heard rocking. Wardrobe creaked. Um, another one here that says slight shaking perceived because seated lightly swinging chandeliers and they were 53 kilometers east and another one says I was in the hotel uh, during the particular very calm atmosphere the sound was reminiscent of a heavy transport truck being driven loudly and slowly across the hotel but um, only the app later told me that it was an earthquake sideways movement could not be felt 
only twice the low frequency noise about five seconds with a 15 second pause and then another five seconds i could only get one monitor to download and work and there's the earthquake as it came in now this is um, north uh, quite a ways north of where it happened at and there's a seismic signature i do get that it was a magnitude 4.63 and yeah you can see here there's um let's go back to the signature uh let's make that bigger again yeah i don't know um it looks like a tectonic movement you can i don't know if you can see this or not yeah and then we got a little tiny thing there and this is what it was showing when i pulled the files so going back to Google Earth, let's zoom back in. Um, yeah, we got some really steep terrain that makes a hazard for um, people living there in heavy rains. And like I said, uh, the rains can make earthquakes. Um, yeah, shake later and cause these landslides. All right, let's bring this out. You probably can see the direction that I got for these plates. Okay, let me bring it out a little bit more. Yeah, the uh, earthquake monitor that I downloaded data from. Let's see, right there. And, oh, is it going to work? I'm trying to get it to work. Um, about 111 miles north, slightly east. So you can see here, we got the African plate. The Eurasian plate would be up over here. Yeah, this is really an active earthquake and volcanic area. And as the Earth's magnetic field weakens more and more, we are definitely going to be seeing earthquakes in many diverse places. But earthquakes, you know, in this area, Italy, they are quite common anyways. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared and the best that you can be for a disaster. Sending prayers to those 11 people that died in that landslide. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.